in the Flex House. So here we are at the doorbell, the main door, coming through. And, uh, there we go. The workstation here. Uh, all the communications that go on in the home. <laughs> Family <laughs> hub. They have two halves, uh, the same size all over the country. Lot, so basically, they do every once we get through California, we'll submit it all the other places. So, uh, and um, they both the better for worse, California has some of the strictest requirements because of our earthquakes and solar days and our energy requirements. So, in fact, I've not been through this process, but he assures us it's much easier to get approved in every state after we get our first approval. Okay. So the, 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 the underlying is the steel structure, steel. but wall is a wall of steel. Oh, no, what I would walls. actually put in there is well, the induction yeah. top, yeah. so you could run it off your solar insulation. Uh, you know, okay. there, it, it, can you, can you really run it? Uh, 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 you might not run. You wouldn't run direct. Yeah. Yeah. You run to your battery yeah. Yeah. and then run it off yeah. the drywall. Hi there. What do you got back here? Um, thanks. Sure, sure, sure thing. Um, well, it's a Neolith countertop. It's, I've got a lot of recycled concrete. Uh, that is a smart uh, uh, coffee maker, Wi-Fi coffee maker. Um, smart water faucet, uh, American standard, you know, low flow. Everything in the house is low flow, but minimal water usage, minimal water waste. Uh, and there's wash appliances. Uh, a lot of them, are, I think this is part of the, uh, the total Home, home connect system so these you can control with your smartphone uh, they're very efficient you know designed for efficiency appliances this uh, the, the whole house uh, I don't know if you're interested in the, the, the bigger picture so 760 square foot um, modular home that's dropped in two pieces on your lot uh, you it's about 120 it's about 125,000 uh, so you have to have the land and the foundation and everything else uh, dropped in your lot all the plumbing's in place all the electrical all the appliances the trim that is your you know, bottom line price and you have to have somebody else to install it no it, the same company that builds them drops them on assembles them the whole thing so it's all included. and do you send off the plans or where the sewer drops need to be and, uh, yeah, water yeah. and, all and they let you know where to put the sewer drops where your water source is I would rec you don't even need a gas drop in fact because of the solar features I mean, it's a net zero house, so we got R30 spray foam walls. Um, it's got solar. Um, we're not sure yet how much of the solar is actually installed, but it definitely has all the systems and all the hookups for the solar are, come with the unit. Uh, so, yeah, it, it, you can run pretty much everything. The only challenge for the solar system is the mini splits. So the mini split heating cooling system. That's and I think it's about a 7200 watt system. So, so if you were gonna right now the house is set up for emergency power outages. So we have a Taguchi electric system with a battery backup that will keep you going for you know six six hours or something with all of your systems except heating and cooling. You could upgrade pretty easily and make this an off grid house. Uh, yeah so it, it's also got a gray water system. So it's got a Nexus e-water, gray water system, and that use that takes all the water used in the house except the toilets, recycles it, you can use it for landscaping, you put it back in the toilets. Um, it's got a leak detection system called FIN, P -H -Y -N, and that tells you, for example, irrigation release a lot of water if you leak. tells you, hey, you know, sends an alert to your phone and says, there's something wrong, the irrigation system is spewing water, so that would let you know that there was no water. Uh, it's got an American standard bidet, and then a lot of people don't, don't, Americans don't really love bidets. We really like them because the way we look at it is every sheet of toilet paper requires two gallons of water to produce. So if every American put bidets in their house, we'd solve all of our water crises without doing another single thing. Just bidets. We could solve all there of There we go. Yeah, so. So bidets, bidets are the answer. They're the answer. At least out west. Are these available? 
they're they're add-on seats now. You can just add one onto it. Oh, my best is house. Oh yeah, the, the house. Well, this is actually the prototype. It's built in a factory in Ridgecrest, uh, California, um, and they are ramping up. Shall we say? This is the only prototype at this point. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Anytime. So I'm going to continue on through this cool looking house. Excuse me, Bill. All right, here we go. Next year, we can work with them actually make this a fully DC system with controls and make it. That would be. So the bedroom's uh, very compact, but look at this, it has air conditioning, so it's totally green. Comes with an office, the command center they call it. Compact washer and dryers, they don't look that compact, they look almost full size. Must be a Bosch. Uh, on demand water system. <laughs> Zenzo. Oh. This is the Zen Zone. I guess that would make sense. <laughs> and then finally, must be the living room. Let's um, we'd love to stay in touch. Okay. All right. All right. It doesn't look like a 65-inch TV, but it's a TV the same. Very nice. Nice looking ceiling fan. All right. So that's 760 feet of flex home, and it's very energy efficient. This is Mark with At My Home.